This feels very like, I feel like that scene in Breakfast Club. What does he do? And he's walking and it's, and it's flying behind him. Hi guys, my name is Grace Clark Delgado. I am a plus model and artist here in New York City. So today, Glamour has challenged me to see if Target can style me for a full week of my life. I found five pieces that I absolutely love. And when I scrolled down, Target recommended an entire outfit for me. So we bought five full outfits and today we're gonna see how well of a job Target did styling me. I would describe my style as chic. I like to have a very put together look. I do like cozy pieces, still a little girly, a little bohemian. I'm from California, so I mean, if I could be, I would be in a sundress every day. All of the outfits that we purchased, we ordered them last week. Thankfully, we had some cameras there with us so you guys can see what that whole process looked like. All right, so we're on the Target website. I'm so like excited for what I'm gonna find today. Okay. The weather is changing and I do love a really good coat. So I feel like maybe a trench coat. Let's take a look. This rose gold trench coat. It's like a little bit of a shiny material. I mean, pink, rose gold, anything in that family is like my favorite color. So I'm already super obsessed. Plaid doesn't make an appearance in my wardrobe too often. I think there's a misconception that plus women don't like tiny prints or designers just don't make them, but I'm excited to try it. Anytime it's maybe a tighter fabric, more of a structured waist, you always wanna size up just to give yourself a little bit of room. I'm just gonna go ahead and add all of this into my cart. Moving on to a meeting look. Again, not stuffy, super on trend, and a little chic. Maybe like a fun skirt. Loving the monochromatic look. So it has the bag and the bracelet and the top. I love it. Let's do it. So I'm going to an event this week. It's in the evening. It's getting a little chilly outside. I love a good dress. This is fun. This hat kind of drew me in. I am like a hit or miss with hats. I've got a lot of hair, but I think it adds a really cool rustic vibe to it. We're definitely adding that hat to my cart. One of my favorite brands of all time is their Wild Fable brand. What's interesting about Wild Fable is that it is technically a straight size brand that does go into plus size range. Straight size meaning that industry standards goes from a zero to a 12, and after a 12, so you have 14 and beyond is plus size. I love Wild Fable because if I wanna wear a dress, my best friend who's like a size two can wear the same dress as well. Okay, I'm kind of living for her right now. Let's see. Ooh, they have another color. That's a little bit more up my alley as far as colors. I really love the top underneath it. I'm a little concerned about the shape of this dress. It's normally not the most comfortable thing for me to wear on the midsection, but I do see that this is actually one of their plus size pieces, so it goes up to a 4X, so I can size up if I need to, which is like a really great perk. So I'm gonna scroll down and see what it gives me. I really don't wear combat boots, so that would be a first. Let's add this to cart. Recently, I've had a thing for velvet mini dresses. It was my birthday last month and I wore my first one ever and I was kind of living for it. So let's see if Target has anything to feed my velvet obsession. I'm kind of loving this one over here. They have it paired with super cute tights, combat boots. This is one of those really cool Wild Fable pieces that goes from an extra small all the way to a double XL. Now I am a little concerned about a double XL because in a straight size piece like this, their version of a double XL, which is technically a 1X and plus size, doesn't always match up, where they can kind of cut down almost like five to six inches on your measurements. So I really want this one to fit. I'm a little worried, but we're gonna take the chance because I think it's really cute. That is all of the looks. I will see you in one to two days when all of this gets here. So I have my box. Kind of feels like Christmas. I don't know what's in here. I'm a little thrown off, you guys, because you know I was really excited about a rose gold trench coat. I don't know about you, but this doesn't look like rose gold to me. Now this is like a very brown look. There's a lot of brown going on. Brown shoes, brown trench, brown print. I thought I was a little bit more sure about how this outfit was gonna go. Now I'm not so sure, but we'll have to wait till I try it on to see. Hmm, okay. So we all know the color is a little off for me um, compared to what it looked like on the model. So that's my first thing. Also, the coat feels a little big. Underneath it though, I do like the buttons. Underneath it though, the pants fit really well. Um, only thing is though, I normally wear like a 16. These are an 18. They are just right there where I would have had to size up. So be careful a little bit on the sizing. I feel like this coat and I just were not meant to be. Um, 
It feels a little, do you hear that? Feels a little funky. The shoes, very cute, but just also walking around all day, I feel like the back of my heel is gonna be pissed at me really quickly in these. The pants are cute though, which is surprising because that was the one thing initially that I was really concerned about. So the print is like a hit for me. So I'm looking at a picture of myself next to the model. I honestly like the style on her more because there's just a lot more detail to it. The high neck, it just looks a little bit more tailored. And for me personally, I just feel like it looks a little bit more like this coat and this outfit are wearing me and I'm not wearing the outfit. I feel like this was a little bit of a catfish. The trench coat is what I was most excited about in this outfit. I said it so many times. Rose gold trench coat, it's like a rose gold. I love rose gold. Rose gold, anything in that family is like my favorite colors. I feel like it even looks like a difference of material some insane lighting tricks maybe, I would wear part of this outfit again. I would wear the tank top with the pants and the shoes just without the coat. We've got the second box. I was a little thrown off by the last one. I'm just hoping Target does not play any more color games. Get it open. Ooh. Try not to stab your clothes in the process. This is gorgeous. I'm so ready to try that on. And then some cute little bracelets here. A little torn on the bag, but I think it'll be good. Okay, I'm kind of living for this right now. I was really excited about this skirt. Right now, I am wearing the size 2X. I did actually size up when I ordered it than my usual 1X. Since it was a slip skirt, I really wasn't sure how it was going to fit. I didn't know that it was an elastic waistband and the actual material has a little bit more give to it than a traditional silk slip moment. So had I known that, I would have probably sized down actually to the XL, so good to know, but it is clipped in the back. I think it's super flattering. I love where it hits on the leg. It's enough of a slip, but not too much. It just really, it's working for me. You guys know I was on the fence about the purse. I still am. Ideally, if I was going to a meeting, I have a full-size iPad that I use as my virtual portfolio. There's just a lot that I need to take with me that I can't really see fitting in here. I feel like I'm holding like a little stuffed animal. <laughs> it also paired it with these cute bracelets, which all four, but when I put my arm down, bracelets are gone. If maybe you pulled the sleeve up a little bit, then you could see a bit more, you get a little bit. I actually really like that, actually. I'm gonna pull both of them up like that. The one thing I particularly love is the skirt. I think you can do so much with this, which is why I really love versatile pieces in my wardrobe. So something like this, you could wear obviously with this outfit, but I also feel like I could throw on a graphic tee, throw a leather jacket with a graphic t-shirt and heels, and then you have a going out look. I will say the pieces do definitely appear much more blue on me. Looking at the bottle, they look very teal, but much more similar than the trench coat look, definitely. Target really nailed this one with it looking the same. The skirt looks just as nice as it did in the photo as it does in person. I feel like Target styled me pretty well on this. I think they gave great options. One, that were flattering. Two, versatile. And three, look very high quality. All right. Outfit number three, let's do this. Get the box out. All right, so we've got the dress. This is very, I feel like this works for a number of things, which is why I chose this for an event. Cute little heel, kind of similar. I feel like this whole look goes very well together. My biggest worry in this one is the hat. You guys see I've got a lot of hair. I've also got a big head. It's just a thing. It means there's a lot of knowledge in there. Normally, hats just kind of sit like right on the brim of my head, but if that happens, so be it. First thought, a little little house on the prairie, but I'm not mad about it. I think when you put this guy on, and you guys know I'm a little, a little worried about this, this kind of ups the level of the outfit. So let's try it on. Okay, so. This is my issue with hats. I feel like it just kind of sits on the top of my head. It doesn't actually, and then I feel like if I push it down, it like smushes. I just feel like when you have so much hair, the hats all the way down are not meant for you. So I think I'd rather wear it 
maybe back here. I feel like I see girls on Instagram do this all the time and I'm like, how do you keep your hat on like that all day? For the shape of it, I could probably actually size down in this dress. I normally like having a little bit more material, but I feel like because this dress is so roomy, like I can possibly lose my shape in it a little bit. So if the waist happened to be cinched up in the top area and around the waist, it gives it a little bit more of a silhouette. I think a huge misconception about the plus size community is that we want a lot of fabric simply for the reason of covering up our shape. Newsflash, we have bodies, we want to show them off, and we have curves. So we want to accentuate those and not hide under a ton of fabric. So everything is pretty similar. I do think the fit is a bit better on her. She does have her hair in a bun. I don't really know how well that would work out if my hair was in a bun. So much hair, hair is up. This is how that would work out. I could tilt it back, it could look like this. Is this a look? Is this a moment? <laughs> so I think Target styled me pretty well. I think they need a little bit more of a realistic hairstyle in their model. So the pockets, the boots, the hat, which you guys know I'm really happy about, I think it works. Outfit number four, a corduroy dress and a layer top underneath it, and apparently more rings than I think I have finger space for. I'm still not sure about this just because of the color combination here. It kind of reads a little grunge to me with the combat boot, with the corduroy. So you'll see when I try it on how I feel. <laughs> Okay, surprisingly, I'm not like too mad about it. Mainly because this looks a lot less brown on, if that makes sense. Um, it almost comes across more of like a yellow, kind of creamy mocha color. Um, I don't know about the shoes. The combat boots are just not something that I would ever really gravitate towards in my everyday look, especially with a dress like this. I feel like when you have a dress on and you have a bare leg, it just cuts off the leg immediately with a black boot, so it kind of shortens the legs. I already have short legs to begin with. I want something that's going to elongate that. For this dress specifically, I purposefully sized up on this. So I've had a dress similar to this style before, and this is a moment where I really appreciate Target and their plus size range because I want to have the option to have a larger fit. So I like the fact that I can kind of pull these sides out when I move, the material moves with me, and I can just be really comfy, I can sit, I can dance with it, and if I'm out with friends, so I just have more opportunity in it. Versus if it was fitted like this, yes, that's very cute, but that's also very constricting, and I just want something that I can move around in and be comfy in. First off, I think we both look great. Um, second off, in her boots, what caught my eye surprisingly, she has these cute like white frilly socks underneath. I kind of like the look that that gives to the boots. It kind of takes away a little bit of the edge, so I'm a little sad Target didn't recommend those because I feel like I might have actually liked the boots a bit more with that kind of frilly edge to them. Overall, I think I got exactly what it looked like in the picture. My biggest letdown though is that Target didn't give me the socks that it had the model in, and I really feel like that kind of would have turn the look around for me. Last one is here. I know for sure that this is my going out look. Let's open it up. Dress is here. Cute little hoops. I love a good choker moment. This look was recommended with the same boots from the last look. It's a little short. It's kind of like a standard mini dress for me, um, but always depending on where and how the material hugs varies by person. We'll see. Okay, so I feel really good in this dress. I love the way that it fits my curves. I love the way it fits up here. It's a nice V, it's not too much out for me, but the killer is that I would wanna wear this out and I just couldn't, I don't think I could like walk in this and feel comfortable without getting a breeze in like all the wrong places. One of the reasons I was really excited about this dress is that this is from Wild Fable and it is one of their pieces that is technically a straight size piece that does go into plus size range. But something really important to note is that normally when it is a straight size dress, they don't always size it correctly or build it upon their model the way that they should. The difference being if I had either a flatter stomach or a flatter behind, 
This dress might fall a little bit lower on me. It very well might fall just a few more inches lower, which would make it wearable for me, but they don't necessarily account for that for people that have different measurements in different places. That would be a great help for any brand really to really pay attention that a size two body and a size 16 body are completely different things. The fabric feels great. I'm a sucker for velvet. I think it's super soft, especially for the time of year right now. They recommended this cute little choker moment and these silver hoops. I'm all for mixing metals, just I feel like this look maybe needs a little bit more. I do like the choker, maybe a little bit more of a dangly earring or a bigger hoop. That's my personal preference. So this outfit styling wise as a whole, Definitely more on the grunge vibe for me, but I kind of like that. I am actually not mad at the boots in this look. Obviously there is a size difference. She is a straight size model. I'm guessing maybe like a two, four, somewhere around there. One thing I notice is the difference in color. It does appear to be like a much darker gray on her. For me, I'm kind of getting like more like a gray blue kind of vibe from it. And she has tights on and I think tights would have been really cute with this. So again, Target, you could have gotten another sale and I would have put tights on underneath this. And she actually has black socks rolled up underneath the boots. I think the quality looks just as great. I wish we would have just had some of those extra added elements. Whew, that was a lot of outfits, a lot of trying on today, but I'm pretty surprised. I think Target did a really good job. The journey today definitely went up from the beginning. Nothing was as different as that first look and it just kept getting better. My favorite outfit of today has to be the blue on blue monochromatic look. I think it's really important how you feel in an outfit and I just felt particularly great in that one. So I was definitely surprised by two of the outfits today and they were the outfits that kind of pushed me out of my current style zone. The first one being my boho look with the hat. I haven't worn anything like that in a really long time. I think it's definitely something that I'm going to try and get myself back into to, and then also the corduroy dress, something that I was really worried about initially, about fit, about color, and then coming together, it really worked for me. I really do wish that more online retailers had this option because I think we would all just be a little bit more stylish altogether. It's definitely gonna be another few days before I decide to try on any clothes at all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, I think you got it. Woo!